The morning hours are typically when our brains are at their most peaceful and at ease. It is also during these hours that the quiet, deep energy of our hearts is able to softly express itself while also being audible to us. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to question you do, you wake up every night between three and five. Um, you may be having a spiritual awakening according to neuroscience, the body's energy. Meridians are also linked to a clock-like system that energizes various body parts at certain times of the day. Every night between three and five in the morning, one wakes up. This is a sign that the energy in certain parts of the body associated to those meridians is blocked weak or that new energy is attempting to enter. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember to go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. If you can't sleep, between nine and 11, up and 11, Sirap. Then the body's energy meridians are also linked to a system that functions like a clock and energizes certain sections of your body at various times throughout the day, every night between three and five in the morning. You wake up, it means that the energy in certain parts of your body connected to those meridians is blocked, weak, or that fresh energy is trying to come through. If you are waking between 11 up and and one zero. It is believed that waking up between the hours of 11 and one in the morning has something to do with the energy meridian of the gallbladder, as this is the time of night when it is active. When you wake up at this hour every night, it's usually a sign that there's some relationship with feeling emotionally let down. In order to return back to a normal sleep cycle, you should give yourself some time to work on unconditional self-acceptance and practicing forgiveness toward others. Start by experiencing the emotion of love in your chest and then move on to loving every part of your body by telling yourself things like, I love my arms, I love my chest, and I love my legs. As you begin to feel the warmth and relief of tension that comes with practicing self-compassion, allow yourself to relax into it. The next step is to get some practice forgiving and letting go of whatever it is about another person that is now troubling you. On an emotional level, the most important thing you can do is direct the love you are currently experiencing toward the part of you that is having a hard time processing the experience you are having with someone. There is a possibility that you will experience pain, hurt, and frustration. And it is imperative that you embrace the your, that is present inside the experience of all of these emotions. You will start to sense an opening and a letting go of the aches and pains that are tied to another person. And at the same time, your gallbladder should be benefiting from the fact that you are mending your emotions in this manner. After completing this exercise, you should get plenty of rest because it was a really great experience. If you are waking between one s Rome and three m s Rome, a e a let's their sacred meaner. This is related with the liver, both in terms of time and energy. Having an excess of yang energy and the emotion of wrath are two common factors that contribute to energy imbalances that are associated with the liver. First, you should try to rehydrate yourself by drinking some cool water. And then you should make an effort to figure out where in your life you might be harboring resentment towards something or someone. Anger is frequently associated with our demands going unsatisfied. The, under, the underlying emotion that tends to lie beneath our anger is one of feeling hurt. If you are waking between three zerome and five zerome, uh, the energy meridian that passes through the lungs and is linked to the emotion of melancholy, is tied to awakening between three and five in the morning. We occasionally experience a peaceful grief in our middle years of life that doesn't seem to have a reason for existing. This melancholy may be a message from the soul informing us of our unmet deep spiritual needs, requirements connected to a deep inner love and a sense of inner contentment. There are times when we allow ourselves to get so caught up in our regular routines, jobs, and family commitments that we allow ourselves to lose sight of the genuine purpose that our loving hearts and souls have for us. And the energy you are right now was there before you were born, and it will be there long after you're gone forever because energy cannot be created or destroyed. Your soul's energy, which resides in your heart, probably has objectives it hopes to accomplish during this lifetime. It's possible that it, what it has a special desire to love and support a select group of people. 
take a seat in a serene area and make an effort to maintain mental silence as you tune into the quiet murmurs of your heart. Deep inside your heart, you will begin to feel a smooth and delicate movement of openness and tenderness. And it's crucial that you pay attention to this in order to figure out what your soul is trying to tell you. You might experience an overwhelming sensation of confidence, relief, and tranquility after connecting on such a deep level, and any grieving sentiments will eventually fade up if you are waking between five at zero and seven null. Early morning awakening is associated with emotional barriers, as well as the energy flow in the big intestine. Try performing intestine breathing exercise by inhaling deeply until your lower abdomen appears to inflate, followed by a gradual exhalation that causes you to tighten your lower abs for a few seconds. Use this breathing technique repeatedly until your big intestine and lower abdomen are well-trained. Although it may first feel painful, the obstruction is clearing if this happens. You'll experience a lighter sense of relaxation after a few weeks once your big intestine has eliminated the obstructions and related toxins. I, we all know that physical symptoms of emotional problems, such as pain and suffering, can also take on the shape of spirit manifestations from within our hearts, such as tenderness and love. During the wee hours of the morning, the greater intellect of your deepest being may be moving up into you, forcing you to awaken and carrying with it love and significant messages for you to hear. And it's, we all know that physical symptoms of emotional issues, such as pain and discomfort, may also be physical manifestations of our spirits from within our hearts, such as tenderness and love. It's possible that throughout the wee hours of the morning, the greater intellect of your deepest being is rising up into you, waking you up and bringing with it words of love and significance for you to hear. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information we've missed in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.